1e. Can you live without it? There are things in our lives that we can't live without. Like what? Like water. Can you live without water? We need to drink water every day. How about air? We need air to breathe. We need food. We literally can't live without these things. There are other things in our lives that uh, we can't live without. But we say that figuratively, not literally. Like what? Like our phones. We can't live without our phones. We don't mean that literally. Of course we can live without them. But they make our life much, much easier and better. They improve the quality of our lives. And so are cars, phones, cars, schools. We can't live without these things figuratively, not literally. 1. Vocabulary A. Read the examples below. What's the difference between useful and useless? Here is useful and here is useless. Let's read the examples. This book is very useful. I learned a lot about cooking from it. My new mobile phone is useless. Why? It never works when I need it. Useful and useless are two adjectives. Adjectives, just like good, bad, useful, useless. We made these two adjectives from the verb use. Like when I give you a pen and I tell you to use the pen. Use the pen means write with this pen. Less and full change verbs and nouns into adjectives. Use is a verb. Take this and use it. Use it. Verb. Useful and useless are adjectives. But what do they mean? Full and less are two suffixes that give opposite meanings. When I tell you that my phone is useful, I mean by that I can use it. I can use it. Useful means I can use it in a lot of possible ways. I can call people. I can text people. I can read the Quran. I can surf the internet using my phone. I can do all that using my phone. So my phone is useful. But my friend's phone is useless. Useless means he can't use it. And why can't he? Because his phone is broken. It's useless. He can't call people. He can't do anything with it. So full and less give opposite meanings. Useful, I can use it. Useless, I can't use it. That's for use. What's the meaning of the verb harm? Harm means hurt, like when you hurt someone. Harmful, it can hurt you, it can harm you. Like what? Like boxing. You know the sport boxing? When you start punching people, that is harmful. Don't do that. Because it's harmful. Table tennis is harmless. It doesn't harm you. When you play table tennis, you can't hurt yourself or hurt anybody else. Help. Helpful, that means it helps. Helpless, it doesn't help. Like if I tell you that my teacher, my English teacher, is helpful, that means he helped me in many different ways. Next is care. When you care about something, you are attached to it. Like mothers, mothers care about their children, their babies. They care. They are attached. They love their kids. Careful means they care. Means if I tell you that I am careful, that means I care. I am careless, that means I don't care. I am a careful driver. That means when I drive my car, I drive with care. I don't drive fast, I follow the rules and the road signs. If I am a 
careless driver, then I drive fast, I don't pay attention to road signs, and I break the rules. Beauty, just like this one. Beautiful, that means it's beautiful, full of beauty. Beautyless means ugly. Harm, okay, we talked about harm and help. Now, I want you to stop this video, try filling these blanks with these not verbs, use full and less to make these verbs adjectives, and then fill them inside these blanks, and then continue this video to check your answers. Okay, now I assume that you tried doing that. Let's fill in the blanks together. One. Eating junk food, junk food like hamburger, every day, every day hamburger, every day pizza, is harmful or harmless to your health. Well, it's harmful. It can hurt you. It can harm you. It can make you sick. Two, I was in London. London is in the United Kingdom. And I couldn't speak English. I can only speak Arabic. I felt helpful or helpless. I felt helpless. Why? Because what language do they speak in London? They speak English and I couldn't speak English. So I was helpless. Three. Tony is a very careful or careless driver. He has had many accidents. Accidents, car crash. He crashed his car many times, a lot of times. So he is careless. He drives fast. He doesn't pay attention to other cars down the road. Four. The sea looked like the Red Sea. Looked at night. Uh, the, the sea looked beautiful at night. It was very nice. Five, don't be afraid. Don't be scared of my cat. Don't be afraid of the cat. Because the cat is harmless. It will not bite you. It's a friendly cat. Six, my brother was very helpful or helpless. Thanks to him, I finished my project on time. That means my brother helped me. Finishing my project, he helped me. He gave me help. He was helpful. He was very helpful. Thanks to my brother. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. Goodbye.